Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Blaster Master Zero Two. I am Rufo, playing this game for you. Woo! Oh, Those things do revolve rather quickly. So quickly, in fact, they actually move faster than we do. But no matter. Generally, if you move in the same direction as the planetoid, you should be able to uh, push the button soon enough to, to uh, get onto it. There, hold that. Like that, punk. Jerks. B2, huh? Ow! Quit it! Alright, what else we got around here? That's something that'll be useful. Um... Right. Ah, punk! Where we do? Ah, oh, there's our area map. Not that it's going to reveal anything new to us. Hmm. Alright, what we got here? a deep tunnel, I guess. Thank you. Ah. And since those have no glow to them, we know they're all monsters. All right. Oh. It must be where our, our key is to be found. If we can catch it. Success! Ah, 
After I have to remark, these planetoids remind me of a uh, mod for Kerbal Space Program that added two more planets. Trouble was, one of the new planets was impossible to land on because the speed at which the planet spun was at escape velocity, so you couldn't match the surface speed in order to land on it. Uh, let's see, what do I need? Probably a miracle. Hello, sir! No, oh, this is different. It's a Cerberus. Of course. Well then! Hello, sir! Out of us. Oh boy. I'm in trouble. Oh! Yeah, it gets really difficult when there's only one head left. So ideally, you want to, uh, maul the heads equally. Of course, it's a little difficult because they do not have separate health bars. Gotcha! Woo! Right! Well, now we can move on to Sector F. Ah, uh, kind of. <laughs> there were positives. Do they outweigh the negatives? Hard to say. Rather than worry about all that, let's worry about continuing forward.
what we got here? down? Ah, of course. Like that. Kind of landmine. Hooray! Just don't worry about that. Uh, let's look in area F1. Well, she said it was only temporary. Pushy. Hmm. Oh well. The detour for the key, and uh, there were other benefits. So it was not a bad experience. <laughs> Russ, we might end up with more trouble than we started. Tunnel and uh, sectors split in half. No wonder it's called F1. Ah, what's going on? Planet Devito. How appropriate. What is that stuff dividing the planet and the sector, though? Uh... Ha! Huh. Fair enough, I guess. Hmm. Well, seems we're on the desert side, then. Ah! Hmm. Probably helped by a boss mutant. Oh, 
Well, let's track things down, and, uh... He's very right. You need to be careful around these things. She's, she says the Ar G. Sophia's armor can't take up... Can't stand up to it? Well, she's right in a very extreme way. If you touch them, you die. That is how... How mean those are. They just kill you. Sands are a little different though, so what we got here? More demonstrations of the two extremes. So on the desert side, it is sandy and will slow our progress. On the glacial side, it is icy. Go figure. Back to sand! And we're in Springy, bringing this counter out specifically for faster movement because, well, the sand won't won't slow us down there. In fact, you can even compete with the uh, with the flowing sands. But the sands and the ice are not our new gimmick. These switches are... Can't trip them unless we come close enough to lower the walls around them. Even the wave blaster can't trip them with the walls up. them, they are just as dangerous. And, uh... Oh! That was interesting. We don't have what we need in order to, uh, deal with the... or do anything about the cracked terrain. Or the cracked rips. Dimensional rips. Distortions. Realize just how much weaker you get with the uh, when you when you run out of power. Hmm. That looks like it'll be relevant later. 
Very relevant later. That other pathway does not take us to anywhere useful, though. Those distortions seem to be equally dangerous. Ultimately, a glorified dead end. Hello. Uh, hi. Yeah, I'm an MA pilot. What are you doing here? Oh. So. Or, uh, MAO-3, hey? Hi there, Tessa. I'm Jason. She's Eve. This is Fred. So... Is... Adam's pilot nearby, then? Could you speak up, please? Ah, that's a little concerning. Hmm. Well then. Alright, Eve, if you say so. We'll search for him. Hmm? Ah! Holy! Jeez! Alright, we'll have to go around and use a tunnel in Area D to reach Area F2. Got it. How do we get to Area D? A uh, tunnel in Area A. As you might be able to guess, that over there would be the, ER, the other M.A. Well, before we leave the planet, let's, uh, pick up some other items of value. They'll be helpful. They will be helpful to us. Hmm. 
that. Cute method of dealing with enemies, but... Let's deal with them the old-fashioned way. Especially since clever ways can go wrong. I don't think this is the way. What's up here? Alright. Yeah, we need to lower green so that we can, uh, trigger red. I don't need to trigger red. Oh. Alright. Looks like we can bypass that whole part of the puzzle. Now we can just pick. Let's deal with the desert side or the icy side. <clears throat> the desert side or the glacial side. Off the glacial side. Ow. And here's where the points where the travel points converge. Well, I do feel mildly like I made a, uh, correct decision. Mildly. What we got going on? Punk. What do I got here? Absolute Comet. Weighs a bit that protects from attacks and launches a uh, Counter attack when you use the counter. All right then. Method of shielding sounds useful. <laughs> However, and more importantly, that's a. Uh, covers everywhere we can reach, so next point of order would be to get back off the planet. There's going to be a fair bit of travel, so... We'll just off-screen the bulk of it and, uh... We'll come back with a... with, with the return to space. Whoa! We'll see you then. Later. <laughs> 